I have to make two things right from my last video when I said that uh, I didn't want to put the comments into the book. That was absolutely true, except there was a period of time where I wrote to this one particular pastor because he had the best comment to ask him if it would be right for me to put that into the book. And never once did he answer me. But when he didn't answer me, I realized I was going against what God originally told me. So I repented of it and I changed. I'm telling you this because I want you to know that I'm a human being just like you. I don't want to be lifted up to be more than what I am. I want everybody to know that although you can't have my call or do what I do, you can have your call and do what you need to do. So don't don't try to be me because, like I said, many people said, oh, Marianne, I'd love to have your wisdom. I would love to have your anointing. I would love to be just like you. But when I think of everything that you've gone through, I know I could never bear it or endure it. Because there are many people that did know me personally, that, that did see me go through a lot of things. And I think there was a second thing that I had to make right. I'm, I'm trying to think of it right now. Because there were two things that I wanted to correct out of that video. And uh, sometimes when I'm tired, it's the middle of the night. Uh, my memory just doesn't function as well as it used to. But it's amazing because I remember every vision. I remember every dream, never writing it down. I remember every thing that he ever spoke to me that was very important without ever writing it down. And even though it might not come to me here right now, it will come to me because I do want to keep it right. You know, I, I do, I do want to make sure that I'm perfectly honest and I'm making no mistakes for I, everything I do, I know I do before God and God knows my heart. He knows I would not ever deliberately do it on purpose wrong, but I'm capable of mistakes because I'm human and he's so gracious to all of us because all of us are human. All of us do once in a while make mistakes, but we have to forgive ourselves. We have to remember his love. This is one thing that he had taught me through the years, that this is what people do. They cannot and do not and will not receive his love. If they could open up their heart fully to his love. So what he does with them is he gets them into the place of uh, convicting them. Because he knows that once he convicts you of something and you repent of it, you turn away from it, that builds up your love for him and your knowledge and understanding. And then what happens inside of you is like an awakening of his great and phenomenal love, of realizing how little you really are and how nothing you really are in all things. And and then he comes to you and he gives you so, so much love. I was fortunate. I was in such a state that his voice literally led me out of everything, told me everything. And it was so real. And he was so real when he appeared to me that if he would not have done that, he knows I would have perished forever. And he had to bring me out that way. But that very same voice that spoke to me long ago and led me into all truth and led me to his son, Jesus Christ, that same voice is the one that led me through being healed of cancer and being delivered and healed of lupus and being delivered and healed of so many things. Always I would go to him when I was in my worst stage of anything, and I was just a slip away from death. And I would say to him, Lord, is it my time? Is it time for me to go now? 
and just as clear as a bell, he'd say, no, I have more things for you to do. And as I'd be having my head on the pillow, I would see book after book after book coming out of me. And I, I couldn't even count how many they were. But he was showing me just the other day how many books will come out of me. With, if and when one day I find somebody who will listen to me and put it into a book form, that would really be something. Anyway, uh, I'm hoping to do uh, the real testimony of my entire life. Uh, I'm hoping to do that. Also, I have somebody taping that so that they could put that, well, not them, but they could send it to somebody who can put it into book form. But uh, it's just that if I could put my heart and my mind inside of you and let you feel what I felt with him, it would be wonderful. I know, though, that it all, so many of you have had touches from him, have had times where you were desperate and there he was there he was more than any other person in your life could ever be and that's why I say love on him but most of all let him love you let him know that you know how much he loves you because he gave his son for you it is not just a matter of Jesus it's a matter of God the father and God the son and God the holy spirit those three work together with you to bring you to the great salvation, to the great place of heaven. I know there are those that are pickers. They will pick out this word like one woman told me. Well, there's now they're saying it's uh, uh, he does. It doesn't say it. Lie, the lion line lies down with the lamb. Well, I old school. I got this out of the King James Version. I never had trouble understanding the King James Version of the Bible. Not once. I could understand it the moment I picked it up. I knew where God was. I knew exactly what he meant. And when I picked that up, I was near crazy. I was, I had so many problems. And yet God, the Holy Spirit, came and broke through all of that and helped me to overcome everything. But it took me years to overcome it. It took me years. I can go into a mental institution and I know with all my heart those that are in a catatonic state and those that have given up their minds because they can't communicate anymore. I know that God can heal them. If I can lay hands on a schizophrenic and them say all of their life they heard vo voices and then suddenly no voices ever and they just thrilled in praising God that they don't have that torment. I know that I went through all of that so that I could help everybody and anybody. I didn't go through it for myself. Like I said, when I was dying of cancer, I kept, I kept telling God, if I get through this, I could help somebody be healed of cancer. And you can say to me, well, you know, your daughter wasn't healed of cancer. But, you know, it's just like when Jesus died on the cross. They said, well, he healed others. Why doesn't he heal himself? My daughter was myself. And God did use me to heal others. And they said, come down from that cross. Well, I had a cross to bear, and I couldn't come down from it. But I will tell you, there's a lot to rejoice about. When you lose someone and you know they go into heaven, there's a lot to thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There's a lot to rejoice about. When he brought that song, I'll fly away to me. Oh, when I heard those words, as many thousands of times as I sang that song, I never heard the words. And when I heard that words, those words to that song, I knew what he was saying, where he took her. Many of you have been so kind. I don't know how to thank you. I don't know what I can do to make your life easier except to pray for you. I don't know what to do except hold you up before God. No matter who you are, no matter where you at, you're at, I don't want to forget you. I don't want you to ever think that God does not touch my heart and have me pray for you. That God isn't touching the heart. 
all of his children to pray for you. All of his children. You know, there are times where I would see a baby come before me or a child come before me or a mass of them come before me. And I would know they were the children of God. That God's children was going through these things. And I would pray for them. And that's, that is what we do. That is what we do as Christians. Sure, we stand up and we tell the truth. We tell the truth that what's happened in this nation is a pure atrocity. It's a horrible thing. And they paint it up and make it look like it's good and it's evil. And yes, all of the politicians, none of them, very few of them are even right. But you have to see what is important to God is the ones that are make sure there's food on your table, the ones that are make sure there's gas for you to get, the ones that are going to make sure they don't put climate change ahead of everything like it's a God, because it's nothing but a pretense anyway. For the Word of God does not teach about a, a climate change. The Word of God teaches that Jesus Christ has power over the weather. The Word of God teaches and tells you that there, as long as the earth indoors there's going to be seasons summer spring summer winter and fall those are the seasons that are going to remain so why don't you listen to what god says and not to what the enemy tells you why because they're scientists and they study rings of a tree and they can tell you how many years they can't tell you anything all they have ever done is knowledge puffeth up they puff themselves up to to act like they're God and think, even think that they're God because they studied. Well, big deal. I studied. I studied Jesus Christ. I studied God the Father. I studied the Holy Spirit. I didn't study Satan. I didn't look at him. I didn't say when I saw witches and devils and demons, I didn't say, oh, they're going to, yeah, they... Oh, no. Once they bombarded me and could not get in, they were done. They lost all power. So if anybody thinks that I need, I'm deceived and I need discernment, understand this. You better hope you don't go where I went in order to get it. To understand that I have it. You better hope with all your heart that you don't have to endure what I endured to get mine, that you could dare tell me that I don't know what I'm talking about. Watch what you say. Watch what you do. Be careful. Do not correct people like that. Do not do that. You're no better than anybody else, and you're no higher. When you don't even know what you're talking about for your own life, you're going to come and correct somebody that has the power to be able to see many delivered and healed. I spoke to a woman today and it blessed my soul because that woman was a different person by the time we got off the phone. And all she needed was her understanding open. I'm praying for a, a mother and her son. I'm praying for Donna and her son, Chase. And, uh, and I'm hoping you'll agree with me in prayer. Because I believe with all my heart, God is using these two. God wants these two. And they have a special mission. They have a special call. And God is using them. And for some reason, he has laid them on my heart. And I think about them often in prayer. Because I want to see him walk again with the left side of his body. So, you just agree with me in prayer and believe God. God bless you all.